Vietnam's government bonds advanced, pushing yields to the lowest level in more than a year on speculation that rates will drop at a weekly auction on Thursday. However, the dong was steady. The state treasury will sell a total of 4 trillion dong of 2, 3 and 5 year notes according to the Hanoi Stock Exchange. The treasury sold similar maturity securities at 11%, 10.94% and 11.1% respectively on March the 8th. The yields fell from 11.2% 10.97% and 11.2% at the March the 1st auction. Rates at the next bond sale will probably decline, said Nguyen Hong Kang, a Hanoi-based fixed income dealer at Bank for Agriculture and Rural Development, the country's biggest lender. Yields in the secondary market will also drop. The yield of the government's five-year bond slid four basis points or 0.04 percentage point to 11.49% the lowest since February 2011, according to daily fixings from banks compiled by Bloomberg. The dong traded at 20,830 per dollar as of 3.50 p.m. in Hanoi on Wednesday, the same as Tuesday, according to data compiled by Bloomberg. The central bank set the daily reference rate at 20,828, unchanged since December the 26th, its website showed. The currency is allowed to trade up to 1% on either side of the fixing. Let's go to Malaysia, where the government wants more Malaysian gov uh, companies and businessmen to look at Myanmar as their next foreign investment destination. International Trade and Industry Minister Datuk Seri Mustafa Mohamed said the changes in policy by the junta government there sent a strong signal that the country was serious in attracting foreign investors. He said there were several economic sectors and activities in which local companies and businessmen could invest. Mustafa said these included infrastructures such as building roads, highway and airports, manufacturing, oil palm, property development projects and oil and gas. He said at a press conference yesterday that presently there are 200 Malaysian companies and businessmen there already and they want to see more of them in Myanmar. Mustafa said he was in Myanmar recently leading a business delegation and found out that the country offered good business opportunities for Malaysian investors. He said this after attending a closed-door meeting with investors in Johor and briefing by the Iskandar Regional Development Authority Chief Executive Officer Ismaili Ibrahim on the progress of Iskandar Malaysia. Mustafa said Malaysia was not worried for a direct investment or FDI inflows to the country would be affected with Myanmar's open-door policy. He said that both countries have different targets in attracting FDIs, with Malaysia going for high-technology investments while Myanmar is more on labor-intensive industries. Mustafa said the Industrial Working Committee between Malaysia and Singapore would hold its first meeting tomorrow here to discuss industrial-related matters. He said the setting up of the committee was mooted by the Singapore business community, including the Singapore Business Federation for Manufacturers looking to relocate or expand their operation in Iskanda, Malaysia. Now let's take a look at developments in Brunei. HSBC reaffirmed its commitment to the Sultanate of Brunei, despite recent reports in the media that it is scaling back its Asian operations. In a statement yesterday, the bank said HSBC's presence in Brunei has been significant and this year we celebrate our 65-year anniversary. We wish to reaffirm that we are not exiting any markets in Asia. They continue to invest and grow in Asia as evidenced by a strong financial performance in 2011 and in Brunei, where HSBC has a strong market position, HSBC Bank will remain committed to work with the government regulators and customers to support the continued growth and success of Brunei. The strategy in the region is to have a strong, balanced and diversified geographies and businesses. They remain guided by the bank's group strategy as outlined in HSBC's Group Strategy Day in May 2011. Furthermore, 
Uh, they also regret to note the comments about in relation to HSBC in Brunei in the recent media, which has not been substantiated. In the next few weeks, customers can look forward to exciting new campaigns from retail banking and wealth management and exclusive corporate banking and global market events. Chief Executive Officer of HSBC Brunei Vincent Ho said the bank is proud to have a strong market in Brunei with innovative products and services and corporate banking, global markets and retail banking and wealth management businesses. He said that they are excited to leverage on their HSBC Group network to connect customers in Brunei to opportunities in the international markets. The Philippines may buy a fourth of this year's planned rice imports through a government-to-government -government deal, the Department of Agriculture said on Wednesday. Well, Agriculture Secretary Proceso Alcala said the National Food Authority Council is considering to securing some 120,000 metric tons of rice from either Vietnam or Cambodia, which will serve as the grains agency's buffer stock during the lean months. They are looking at the possibility of importing rice through government-to-government -government deal, a color told reporters on the sidelines of a food security forum in Quezon City. He noted that the Philippines has an existing rice supply agreement with Vietnam, which was extended to 2013. But the DA chief said the country is not obl obliged to buy solely from Vietnam, saying that the Cambodian government has also expressed willingness to sell their produce to the Philippines.